behalf of the Kaduna State Government, I wish to assure you that none of you would lose the money you have in all notes. Let no artificial or illegal deadline frighten you. Whether you live in towns, villages, or in our isolated rural communities, do not feel stampeded to deposit your old notes into the banks. Hold on to them. Continue to use them as legal tender as ordered by the Supreme Court of Nigeria. No deadline can render them worthless, ever. The Cardinal State Governor Nasiru El Rufai has assured Cardinal residents that the 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira notes remain legal tenders standing on the Supreme Court's order. He asks them not to fret about the artificial deadline as none of their notes will be laid to waste. He added that the Central Bank of Nigeria is obliged under the law to recognize old notes and give customers value of the new notes whenever the old notes are returned to the bank. Central Bank of Nigeria Act 2007 in Section 20, Subsection 3, and the Bills of Exchange Act both oblige the Central Bank of Nigeria to recognize your old notes and give you value in new notes whenever you bring them to the CBN, even in the next 100 years. Similarly, the Kano State Governor Abdullahi Umar Gandhiji was questioned why the President and CBN Governor did not think of the Naira design policy seven years ago. He said, This currency swap policy, why didn't the President bring it seven and a half years ago or after elections? But now one must be compelled to think that there is an ulterior motive in the whole thing. How is it possible when the World Bank said the policy is wrong, the IMF said it is wrong, other leaders said it is wrong, but you said you need seven days to think over it. That is why I closed down one supermarket for rejecting the old notes. The Supreme Court has said the old notes are still a legal tender, which is why any bank that refuses to collect, I will revoke their certificate. Gandhi in an audio recording late Wednesday in Kano, when he met with the Forum of Former Parliamentarians, Northwest Zone, said it was unfortunate that despite the collective efforts made by the APC to ensure Buhari's election victories in 2015 and 2019 after several losses, the president had resolved to pay the party and those that supported him back by destroying the party that brought him to power. Following what Kemba described as a colossal failure of the Buhari and APC administration in the last eight years, President Mohamed Buhari had promised Nigerians to leave a legacy of free, fair and transparent elections and smooth transitions regardless of party affiliations. The President had reassured Nigerians that they would be able to vote whoever they want and in whatever party. He also vowed not to allow anyone to use money and thugs to intimidate the people. Hence, the speculation that the introduction of the Naira note redesign policy is targeted at specific politicians. The question is, can President Buhari hold out on this promise and not succumb to emotional blackmail and pressure?